Good evening, and we say the blessings of the Lord be in your life and on your life. Amen. At this time, we're going to bring to you a great teaching by our master teacher in the person of Apostle Jeremiah Cummings. Well, God bless everybody tonight. I'm quoting from the book of Isaiah, chapter 61 and verse number 10, and you should learn this. I will rejoice in the Lord my God. My soul shall be joyful in the Lord my God, for he has clothed me in his garment of salvation, and he has covered me in his robe of righteousness, and we are one in the name of King Jesus. I am excited about life. Amen. The life that has no limits. And I just want to talk to you tonight. I want to share because we've been dealing with the enforcers of the covenant. And I want us to understand that you and I have been chosen by God. And we have a covenant with God. Amen. I remember growing up, and then some of y'all, you know, you're not as old as I am, but I used to watch uh, Westerns on Saturday morning, and every now and then you will see an Indian and a cowboy cut themselves and bleed, and then join their uh, hands together, or their arms together like this, and share that blood one with another. Amen. That was a blood covenant, and we, and I'm watching this at seven and eight years old, and not really understanding covenant. And that means that they would protect each other. They would die for each other even. Uh, they were the best of friends because now it, it was like they were blood. They became one blood. And that's what God has done. God has given us a covenant. But he doesn't reveal his covenant to just anybody. You know, the covenant has keys to it. It's just like uh, keys of the kingdom. And the covenant has keys to it. And just like you don't give your house keys or your car keys to just anybody. Come on. God doesn't reveal his covenant to just everybody. But those that love him, trust him, and obey him. Amen. He brings them into covenant. He puts them in his kingdom. And the Bible calls us kingdom citizens, the God Almighty. Amen. And I want to share with you the covenant enforcers because if there ever was a time that you need to know that you are backed by covenant enforcement agents, enforcers of the covenant. I mean, just because you say, and I say, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Amen. I got to say it. And then we have covenant enforcers, because that's a covenant, that carry it out, that make sure, amen, that no weapon formed against us prospers. Amen. And it's wonderful when you know you got backup. Amen. The word of God, you know, come on. The word of God is the power of God. It's like, it's like the gasoline in a motor. Amen. And you and you and you say that word, and all of a sudden they're enforcers of spirits, if I might say, invisible spirits. Sometimes they will appear in human form. The Bible says many of us have entertained angels unaware. Tonight, I want to give you a couple names of angels. Amen. I've been reading about this, and I want to share this. This, this covenant with you. I want to go, uh, let's go first. Amen. I want to, I want to share something with you in the book of Psalms chapter, and I got my Bible over here. I very seldom have my Bible over here because I normally write everything down. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in Psalms 25. Now, Ambassador Zelma born up in Canada, I might have given you this, but you know how to follow me. And I thank God for you. And you can post these scriptures as I give them to the people. 
I want to thank all of you. Today, we had a brother from France, amen, who joined the School of the Prophets University. Last week, we had a brother from Pakistan who joined the School of the Prophets University. I think we're about 893, 894 students. And, and if you're not a student in the School of the Prophets University, come on over and, and get approved. Amen and amen. We will approve you if you put in a request to join the School of the Prophets University. Listen to the covenant. In Psalms 25 and verse number 14, listen to this. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. The secret, God has secrets with God Almighty. Because if he didn't, amen, it wouldn't say the secret of the Lord is with them. Them is a pronoun. That means it ain't with everybody. Amen. I'm glad that I'm, a, I'm one of them. Amen and amen. And I'm glad that you're one of them. Amen. It says the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, love him, trust him, obey him. That's what fear means. And he will show them his covenant. Now, that tells you that you can go to church all you want to. That don't mean that you're going to ever get taught about that covenant. Amen and amen. You can have more degrees, as Bishop Jake says, than a thermometer. But that doesn't mean that you will understand the covenant. Because the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, love him, trust him, and obey him. And he will show them his covenant. Now... I, I, I got so many places I want to go because a part of that covenant and understanding that covenant is that you have covenant enforcers that God has assigned to you and me to make sure that every one of his covenant promises are fulfilled in our lives. They carry it out. They make sure that nothing happens to us. Amen. Amen. Well, uh, go back. Come on. Let me show you this because I'm not going to be with 30 minutes. He says in Hebrews chapter number one, listen to this. In Hebrew, now New Testament. In Hebrews chapter number one, look at verse number 14. He says, are not all the angels, spirits, sent out by God? My God, are not all the angels, spirits, sent out by God to serve you, to accompany you, and to protect those who have been, who have inherited salvation and are heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ Jesus. I put that there because that's exactly what the whole thing means in the Hebraic tongue. So it says, now this is New Testament I'm over here. Amen. I just went to the cup from the covenant and telling you that you got covenant enforcement agents and then Hebrews 1 and 14 tells you what they do. It says, are not all the angels spirits? Amen. Are not all the angels spirits sent out by God? To serve, to accompany, and to protect those who have inherited salvation and are heirs of God and joint heirs with King Jesus. Good God Almighty, mighty, mighty, mighty. Amen. And so we have covenant enforcement agents and their job is to protect. Their job is to accompany us. Their job is to serve us. And they only move at the voice of his word coming out of your mouth. That's why you got to know the word. Amen. You got to know the word of God. Amen and amen. That's why you need to look at Proverbs chapter number 4, 
verse uh, number 20 through 22, where God says, My son, attend to my word and be willing to learn. Let them not depart from your mouth or from your heart. He said, For they are life to those who find them and health to their flesh. So your, what, the word of God, I'm telling you, I've been studying this for about 30 years to the point that I know it. I've seen it. Amen. I've seen it. I've seen my life saved and I knew that it had to be a covenant enforcement agent that showed up at the right place at the right time to bring me out of danger, to bring me out of death. Amen. And it's good. See, your confidence comes. Amen. Amen. Confident expectation comes when you know, when you have knowledge of the fact that you are blessed. Amen. And amen. And I want to show you tonight, and I want to give you the name of an angel who accompanies, who guards, who open doors. Amen. Amen. You can send him on an assignment. And it's good to know the name, y'all. Ain't nothing like a name. Ain't nothing like knowing a person's name or knowing the angel's name and what he does. I was reading about this angel in the book of 2 Kings. Let me show you something. He's a warrior. Amen. He, he's a protector. Amen. He's the same in the past, in the present, in the future. I'm going to give you his name tonight. Amen. Uh, part of his name is seen in Genesis chapter 1, 28, when it says, and the Lord blessed them. That word bless is the word barakah. Amen. And the Lord, before he gave Adam an assignment to have dominion, to, to, uh, to subdue the earth, he blessed him first. Look at it in Genesis 1, 28. And the Lord God blessed them. That word bless is barakah. We knew President Barack Obama. That's a part of his name, barakah. It means empowered to be successful. Amen. He empowers us to be successful and he gives us covenant enforcement agents. Amen. Uh, amen. I'll give you his name in a minute. To make sure that we're protected. To make sure that we are never alone. Amen. Amen. That the Bible says in, in, in Psalms uh, 91 and 11, for he has given his angels charge over you to keep you in all of your ways. That's covenant. He can't break it. He says in Psalms 89 and 34, my covenant will I not break, nor will I alter the things that I've spoken out of my mouth. Amen. If he said it, you can stand on it. It's a rock. It's a short, it's a, it's a powerful foundation. This angel is with me and with you today. And tonight, I give you his name. It says, look in 2 Kings, chapter number 19. And look with me at verse number 35. I didn't give this to uh, International Ambassador Zelma Bourne. I'm giving it to her now. I'm quite sure she'll get it and she'll post it. But you write it down and you can go read it for yourself. Let me show you what, let me show you the power of this angel. Amen and amen. It says, and it came to pass. I'm in 2 Kings chapter number 19 and verse number 35. And it came to pass that night that the angel of the Lord went out and smote in the camp of the Assyrians 100 and 85,000 soldiers. And when morning came, they were all dead. One angel smoked 185,000. He's called the angel of the Lord. It's the same angel of the Lord that we read about in Psalms 34 and 7 that says the angel of the Lord encamps round about them that fear him, that fear him, and he will deliver them. 
He encamps around about us. One angel. It's called the angel of the Lord. I'm going to give you his name tonight. Amen, amen. And you can call that angel. I was reading about him. And I did a, um, an in-depth research on this angel. In the beginning of time, in Genesis 1, 28, and the Lord Baraka them. The Lord bless them. The angel's name is Barakiel, just like Mikael. These are two powerful angels. Good God Almighty. And they respond to you when you know the word. You become, you're the only voice that God has on this earth. Every one of us becomes his voice. That's why he gave us uh, a tongue. And that's why you hear David say, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my God and my Redeemer. Amen. The, the problem that we have is that it's not enough. It's a lot of folks go to church, but they can't quote the word. And the book of Proverbs said, retain my word and be willing to learn my word because they are life to them that hear them. Amen. Jesus said that man shall not live. You don't have a life by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Amen. We live by it. We say it. We pray it. We quote it. We believe it. Then we start seeing things happen. <laughs> almost instantly. There's a lot of wickedness in the world, and it's time that we understand that the wicked perish. A lot of evil. Amen and amen. I'll flip the coin over to the other side to tell us, you know, there's a lot of evil in the world. There's a lot of murder. There's been a lot of murder. 55 million babies aborted every year. That's murder. The Bible calls it the shedding of your innocent blood. I mean, you know, you can pass all the laws that you want, but the law of God, no. Amen. It's time that we stand and understand that um, evildoers, amen, evildoers shall be destroyed. Y'all, we don't want to talk about that. We want a milk toast gospel. Come on. You need to know that what makes a person evil and wicked is when they work to destroy the righteous. Many times, God will allow you to come under attack. Amen, amen. Just to show the devil how powerful he is he don't know. The devil don't know. You got angels on assignment. You got Barakiel. I'm going to say that again. You got the angel of blessings and the angel Mikael who fight for you. Mikael. The Bible said in Daniel. I gave it to you before. In Daniel chapter 1, it says, At that time and in that day, there will be a time of trouble since there was a nation. Amen. He says... At that time, God's people will be delivered. We're here. Amen. We're on the brink of a miracle. All of the hell that's going on, the viruses, over 100,000 people, more people died from a virus, amen, amen, than twice the number that died in a 10-year war in Vietnam. Come on, something ain't right with that picture. I was telling my wife today, I said, why did this happen during my time? During our time. A hundred thousand, I lost my first cousin. Lost him about three weeks ago. Amen and amen. We've had friends and family members who have died from this demon. But, but something, there is a, there is a, um, something is out of balance. And that's why you need the word of God. Amen, amen. That's why we have people uh, like, um, I have to mention him every, almost every time I preach, Dr. Matthews, 
who teaches us about the vitamin D3. I mean, come on, the vitamin D3, that is a hormone that fights against us getting the virus. Amen. So we can go out because we take our vitamin D3 twice a day, 10,000 units, and it, and it acts as a hormone. Amen. Or an angel, if I might say, because it protects us from getting something that a lot of folks got. Amen. And, and it's because we love God so much, God brings somebody like him out of nowhere to make sure that we're covered, to make sure that we're not dying from something that everybody else may be affected by because they don't know. But we have to teach those that don't know. Amen. To whom much is given, Jesus said, much is required. Are y'all all right? Amen. The Bible says, for evildoers shall be destroyed. Psalms 37, verse number 9. Look at it. For evildoers shall be destroyed. But those that wait on the Lord, wait on the Lord is like your waiter serving you. Those that serve the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. The Bible says in Psalm, oh, I'm, going, I'm coming back, in Psalms 37 and verse 34, when the wicked are destroyed, you will see it. So ain't nobody getting away with nothing. Amen. The wicked ain't gonna. The wicked ain't getting away with nothing. And anybody that works against the righteous, you got you got Isaiah fifty four and seventeen. No weapon formed against you will prosper. And every tongue, words, every tongue that shall rise up against you in judgment is condemned. And you got angels that are on who have been sent by God. Amen. Amen. To accompany you, to serve you. Amen. To protect you. I depend on them, y'all. I wake up every morning. I depend on them. And the reason why God has a covenant with you is because God created you to colonize earth for heaven. Amen. God wants to show the world through you that he is God. They can knock you down, but you're getting back up. They can lie on you, but you're still coming back up. Amen, amen. They can conspire against you like they, get, like they did against Daniel, like they did against Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. But in Daniel chapter 6 and verse number 22, when Daniel, uh, the lions just went to sleep, threw him in the lion's den. And when King Darius came and looked, he said, Daniel, you there? In Daniel 6, 22, Daniel said, My God has sent his angel and has shut the lion's mouth so that no hurt can come against me. And God will send his angel. He's called the angel of the Lord to watch over you. They, they enforce the covenant of God. Amen, amen. They enforce the covenant of God. And what we're looking at in the world today, we're looking at a foundation that is being destroyed that was set up by man. Economically, politically, in the judicial system, and in the educational system. The Bible says if the foundations be destroyed, what shall the righteous do? Well, I can tell you what we're going to do. We're going to pray. We're going to call forth our angels who are, have been assigned to us and who watch over us and that we have the power to command. Good God Almighty. My, my wife just told me I got five minutes. One angel destroyed 185,000 Assyrians. Well, what are you going to do with all the angels that God has given you? You have an invisible wall of fire round about you right now. I mean, the devil has been trying to bring us down, destroy us, amen, make us feel inferior, trying to 
destroy our self-esteem, our faith. Amen. But you got to understand, you got to realize you got a wall of fire about you. Amen. It's in the Bible if you ain't told the page, y'all. In the book of Zechariah, chapter number two and verse number five, God says, For I declare, said the Lord, I will be a wall of fire round about you, protecting you from your enemies. And I will be the glory in the midst of you. Oh, good God of mine. I'm, you know why? You know, I love this covenant. I love being in covenant with God and having 7,000 plus promises that he has assigned angels to make sure, that's why I got to know my covenant. I mean, you don't sign a contract. I signed a contract with Harold Melvin in the Blue Notes in the early 70s. But I had to read that contract. Amen. So that I could make sure that I knew what I was getting. Amen. And I read the contract. And what I didn't understand, I got me a lawyer. Amen. To explain to me royalties. To explain to me. Amen, amen. I'm glad that I did. I'm glad that, amen, I'm still getting blessed from that 46, 47 years later. Amen. You and I have a covenant with God. This is the book of the covenant. Amen. And we need to know what is ours. Amen. <laughs> amen. And then God says that he won't break it. Amen. God says he will stand and back his covenant with his angels. Yes, he will. Psalms 89, 34. My covenant will I not break, nor will I alter the things that have gone forth out of my mouth. This is our covenant book. And he has given us angels. And then he tells us, that we, the believer, will command the angels. Oh, my God, my God. Amen and amen. I'm so excited. I am so excited that we have covenant enforcement agents, enforcers of the covenant. We got a book that we can't lose. No way. Amen and amen. Daniel couldn't lose in the lion's den. Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego could not lose in the fiery furnace. Jesus couldn't lose on the cross. Because on the third day, he got up. And when he got up, the Bible says, those that were dead in the grave, when he got up, got up and walked the streets of Jerusalem with him. Man, that would have been enough for me. I think I said it before. If I would have saw the Lord, Get up out of the grave. And I would have saw my mama, my great granddaddy, my grandma walking down the streets of Jerusalem with him. I'm done. Amen, amen. But I read about it. I read the report. I believe what I read. And I'm living what I read. Good God Almighty. I, I tell you what, I didn't plan to go too long tonight. We've been dealing with so many things. You know, this young brother who has lost his life in Minnesota, we pray for his family daily. I watch that video to the point that I don't even want to see it again. But I believe that it was a wicked thing that happened to him. And maybe that's why God had me to go and look at the end of the wicked. He said, when the wicked are destroyed, in Psalms 37, you need to read that tonight. He said, you're going to see it. Amen. We're at the end of an age. Amen and amen. And at the end of the age, God says in Matthew 13 and 49, so shall it be at the end of the age. The angels will come 
and separate the wicked from the righteous. We're here. Amen. Some folks that God removed from your life, you didn't need them. And they didn't deserve you. Oh, I'm bold tonight. I can't help it. Oh, yeah. Some folks that God removed from your life, you didn't need them, and they did not deserve you. And they're going to watch God do a magnificent thing in your life. Because tonight, the secret of the Lord is with you. You got an angel, Barakiel. Amen and amen. He whipped 185,000 by himself. He's an angel that encamped round about those that fear God that love God, and he will always deliver us. Good God Almighty. He will always bring you out. Barakiel. You got a warring angel named Mikael. My God, my God. Barakiel is the angel of blessings. Oh, my God. Amen. He's known as the angel of blessing. He intercedes before God for the people, asking God to give them blessings in all areas of life, from their relationship with family, friends, all the way to their jobs. He's real. He's real. He's the angel of blessings. You got him. I revealed him to you. Amen. The Bible said that the secret of the Lord is with them that, that love him. And he will show them his covenant. You need to read Deuteronomy 29 and 29. Oh, man, it talks about the secret of the Lord. Amen. He doesn't reveal his secrets to everybody. God's going to take you to another level. God's going to take you to another place and time that you've never been to before. God is opening doors for you right now. That you thought was shut in your face. All right. God just God just said, "Watch me do what I'm getting ready to do in your life." Amen. Amen. I'll be I'll be right back with you on Sunday. I'm excited. My wife and I are excited because, Amen. We we're, we're blessed, y'all. Amen. We're Baraka. Amen. We're blessed. We want you to to stay with us. You know, if we teach you right, then. Your obligation is to sow back to your teachers. And we're going to pray for you. We're going to intercede for you. Amen. We're going to teach you. We want you to go to ShabbatGlobalMinistries.com, ShabbatGlobalMinistries.com, and give your tithes and give your offerings and sow your seed. Amen. And let us get your name and, and give us your prayer request. Let us know what you need. Amen. Get others to join the School of the Prophets University because in the next four or five months, we'll be broadcasting from that page. Amen. And we want you to be a part of that in your family. ShabbatGlobalMinistries.com. And then Cash App, it's the same. It's dollar sign SGM920. Dollar sign SGM920. So you see the faith. Amen. Let the word of God and let us pray for you and let us be a blessing to you. We get mail at our building, Shabbat Global Ministries, 920 North Kennedy Drive in Kankakee, Illinois, 60901. Amen. Share the video. Share the tape, y'all. Share it and keep sharing it. We want to thank God. Amen. If we reach three or four hundred people, my God. Amen. That's powerful. Because three or four hundred people can reach three or four hundred other people. And so we thank God for you. I thank God for my wife who keeps me busy. Hey Amen. We've been planting the garden all day. I thought I was going to take it easy. I wore myself out. Now, I had he, to drink some coffee before I came on. He does not got know me how lifting to stop. Rocks, got me lifting uh, 75 pound bags of organic soil. Hey Amen. But it's okay. We're going to have kale and carrots and cabbage and mustard greens and and peas, hey amen, we're going to, hey amen, it's going to be all right. But we thank God for all of you. Thank God for our international ambassador, Zelma Bowen, up in Toronto, Canada, and for the Thomases down in Jackson, Mississippi. God bless you 
uh, down there. Um, um, Sister Brenda Stacer in Kansas City. Amen and amen. Amen. We thank God for Brother Sharif and his wife. We thank God for Brother William. We thank God for um, so many of you. If I miss your name. Uh, and Noah. Gotta say hi to Noah. He's over there in Bourbonnais. And, uh, and Chris and Jerron and Sister Tia. We thank God for you. And we thank God for all of you. I mean, if I missed you, you know I love you. Amen. Sister Rosa Love. Amen. We thank God for her, our president and deaconess uh, in our ministry. We thank God for all of you. I can't say it enough. Barakiel. B-A-R-R-A-K-I-E-L. Barakiel. The angel of blessing. Call him. He'll answer you. And if you speak the word, he'll go to work for you. The secret of the Lord is with them that love him, and he will show you his covenant. Tonight, covenant enforcement agents, amen, enforcers of the covenant, part three. God bless you. We'll see you on this coming Sunday at noon. God bless you. We love you. Amen.